So, hello, thank you for watching this video. So, in this video, I'll be doing question 4 uh, of November 2020 question paper, Mathematics Paper 1. So, question 4.1 reads as follows. So, write down the equations of the asymptotes of H. So, they want us to write down the equations of the asymptote of this function, which is H of X. So, this function here is a hyperbola. So a hyperbola have two uh, asymptotes, a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote. So a horizontal asymptote, you write it, which is horizontal. So which means it's cutting through the y-axis. So it will be in the form y is equal to. A vertical asymptote, which is vertical, it cuts the x-axis. So it's going to be x is equal to. So we are going to find those two asymptotes. So, 4.1.1 So they are saying the equation of the asymptote. I'm saying we have two asymptotes, a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote. A horizontal asymptote is moving this way. It's this, it is uh, in this orientation, which is horizontal. It's cutting through the y-axis of the Cartesian plane. So it's going to be expressed as y is equal to a vertical asymptote, which means it cuts through the x-axis x axis are horizontal so it cuts through the x axis so it's going to be x is equal to so let's go there so the vertical asymptote so the vertical asymptote is going to be in the form x is equal to so read it from here so x is equal to 1 so we would have the asymptote that x is equal to 1 so why is this because I transpose the negative one to the other side. Why is the asymptote there? The reason is there is because this function, this hyperbola of ours, will not be defined at h is equal to 1. So, if I say h at 1, I'm going to have third negative 3 over 1 minus 1 plus 2, which is equal to negative 3 over 0 plus Two. You know this cannot happen. You can't divide by zero. So that's why we have our asymptote there. So throughout this function of ours, this graph, this function will not be defined in x is equal to one. So if you are if you are defining a domain of this function where it will be defined, it will be defined everywhere except that point x is equal to one. That's your vertical asymptote. Then let's go to the horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote. So, your horizontal asymptote is horizontal, as it says. So it cuts through the y-axis, because the y-axis uh, is a vertical, whatever. So, it will be in the form y is equal to. So y is equal to what? We have used this part and obtain this vertical asymptote. So the remaining part is that one. So your y is equal to 2. So your horizontal asymptote is at y is equal to 2. This is your horizontal asymptote. This is how you answer this question. So just x is equal to, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to uh, 2. So these are your asymptotes. So, yes. So how do you Okay, let's leave it here.